Hey everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be It's like as soon as I turn the camera on, I just forget how to have normal human interactions. And it just goes to either song or aimless, maniacal giggling. I don't know why, it just happens. You make me nervous. <laughs> If you guys saw my prom dress return box where we tried 25 returned prom dresses on, I mentioned that we should revamp some because I've been so into sewing, so into sewing. <laughs> Stop, you are so funny. Now in that video, which if you have not seen it, you may want to watch it first or after, or if you like this video, go watch that one because maybe I'll do another revamp video. But I had asked you guys to comment down below which dress you thought I should revamp, which I'm thinking of doing a pretty extreme revamp, like deconstructing the dress basically into fabric and then creating an entirely new silhouette, which I don't know where I got the idea. I had this talent level, but shoot for the moon and we'll probably, we'll probably miss, miss it, it, but maybe it'll, it'll, be, maybe cute. it'll be cute. Anyway, so last night I was looking through the comments and I was trying to see if there was gonna be like a top comment saying which dress and what they thought we should do. And I literally found a comment in favor of revamping like every single dress, which as you guys know, I'm gonna be donating quite a few once we're done this revamp series. But I was like, I don't know which one to do because you guys want so many, which is awesome. We'll just keep doing it, but which one should we start with? So I watched the video through and there was one that really stuck out, but I have the box back here. So I just wanna look again. All the dresses are in here. Oh, okay, right at the top is the one that I was thinking. Because I must admit, I was very optimistic of it in the video, but looking back, I'm like, this dress is like, it's a serve in a way, but I feel like modern times might not love this. <laughs> modern times, <laughs> what am I talking about? I really shouldn't be filming today. What I'm trying to say is basically this looks kind of like a costume. I think we could make it into a more wearable piece because all of these are like evening dresses. You know, if you saw the video, long, grand gowns. And I'd like to make something a little bit more casual and wearable. So this was the one that stuck out to me because it has a really long skirt. And this is really nice. And it's actually two layers of orange fabric. So the dress silhouette that I was thinking, this one would have enough fabric. So this one is an option. I'm sort of trying to choose a dress that either was dirty and like stained so we can cut out the stained pieces or they are so not amazing looking that people would enjoy them more if I revamp them. This one was gorgeous, okay? It reminded me of the 80s. The fabric is definitely the statement. It's got sort of like this purple to blue fabric. And then on the bottom, there is black tulle. I'm tempted to redo this one. This is an option. I also saw the comment quite a bit that I should dye this one. <sighs> so many fun dresses and it smells so good in this box. Okay, you know what? We'll decide between those two. Maybe I'll ask you guys on Instagram. Okay, I laid them out. Which dress should we revamp? Okay, so those will be our two options. I'm gonna let the poll go for like 10 minutes and then we'll see. I'll try both of them on so you guys can see them. Hold on a minute. Okay, here is dress option number one. The orange dress, in case you need a reminder of what it looks like, I'm just holding it in the back because it's a little bit too big for me. Oh, I have a clip actually. There's something about this dress that I love. I don't know if it's the burnt orange color or if it's all of these details at the top. We will definitely have to try to reuse those. They're all like hand sewn on though. But like the harsh stop here leads into such a beautiful fabric. Like the nice thing about this dress is like it may look very dated as it is right now, but the fabric is luxury. Trust and believe. Like there's this one and a whole nother piece. This is the first. People are voting currently as we speak. All right, and here, here is the second option. This one was a little bit too short, if you remember. This one has the fun black tulle. I don't know, I just am kind of obsessed with the idea of making a dress with tulle sticking out on the bottom. 
Not sure. This is clearly just beautiful. I love it. This one probably doesn't even need a revamp, but it might be fun to make something a little bit more wearable for this beautiful fabric. Because this style, I feel like there's only a few events where I would feel comfortable actually wearing this, like a prom, a grad, that sort of thing. This would look cute with a belt. Okay, I'm getting off topic. Okay, but I'm gonna head downstairs to the sewing room. We will check the poll when we get down there and do whatever the people want. Okay. I need to stop doing that. We are in the sewing room. I have dress option orange and dress option blue. Shall we see what you guys have decided? By the way, if you're not yet following me on Instagram, make sure to follow me on Instagram so you can be a part of these polls. I have yet to look, so I'm excited. <sighs> orange! Oh my gosh, you guys! I wanted to do the orange one, but I had a feeling you guys were gonna pick the blue one. Gagged! I'm gonna delete it now so people will stop. I guess we will keep it this one. That's good actually, because that one's pretty nice. Now you. <laughs> it's such a shame always to cut out a zipper because I have such a difficult time putting zippers in. So I never want to take them out, but I think we'll have to. The craftsmanship on this. Like this is a corset. It's all boned in the inside. So yesterday I was trying to find some easy tutorials on how to make dresses because I was thinking, you know, I'm not an expert. I don't know how to make a pattern and I feel feel like trying to do something from scratch would be bad for me. If you guys would like to see that in a future video, I can definitely try it. I think it'd be kind of fun. But I ended up finding from a fellow YouTuber, make a zero waist baby doll dress beginner sewing project. I'll put it right here. I'll also link this video down below because I just love the way that this dress looks. And I was watching the tutorial and it seems like something in my wheelhouse that I'll be able to do. And since this orange dress has so much fabric, I think what we could do is just cut the skirt off, use the skirt to make a dress, and then maybe save the top for a future video. Like maybe this would come in handy for something else we're making. The baby doll dress that they made in the video is so adorable and I think it would look so cute in this orange fabric and I think it'd be super wearable. I mean, it's beginner, but it also looks a little difficult. I thank all YouTubers who make videos like this. They're basically the people who are teaching me everything that I know at sewing. You guys know that. really weird to be cutting up a fully designed garment, but that's revamping. You know, we don't know what would have happened to this dress. Maybe it would have not been appreciated and put in a landfill. So that's going to be its storyline so that we don't feel bad about cutting it up. We're going to make it better. I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and cut the fabric that we need. This is a lot of fabric we're going through. I'm just gonna cut around the zipper. The skirt is separated and everything we don't use, we're gonna save. So this is getting saved. I always kind of thought when I saw this dress that it should be two separate pieces. So we're just making that happen. This is so dirty on the inside. I will definitely have to wash this. I'm a little bit afraid. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut the pattern. Okay, here is how the pattern's looking right now. I had to change the one in the video just slightly because this was already a skirt. So I get to skip a few steps because this is already basically the shape I need. And I cut a little head hole, which by the way, I measured it to a shirt I already had. And it was so hard to find a shirt with a head hole like that because everything I have is turtleneck. But yeah, so now we're gonna start sewing it, which I'm so excited. <laughs> I always start so happy and then something bad happens and I'm like, humble yourself, Mia. Come on, get your hand in the game. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. Now I just wanna give all credit to the person who made this video that I'm following. I am not making this silhouette up, okay? I don't have the skill for that. I only have the skill to follow. Maybe in the future I'll be able to make one myself. I don't know. Now that I've been sewing a little bit, honestly, I feel like I understand generally how to do it. What am I talking about? Like, I just feel like I'm living my drag race fantasy. Like if I had to make something, maybe I could wow Rue. <laughs> 
Probably not. Okay, let's see. What did I do? What did I do? Does it look ugly? Let me know. <gasps> oh, she is the moment. All right. Okay, what? I swear, every day I learn... Wait, what's that song? Caillou. Each day I learn some more. Caillou. I'm Caillou. This is cute. <laughs> so we meet again, Basting Stitch. Listen, me and Basting Stitch just don't really get along. We just have a little bit of a rivalry going on of some sort. I hate them and they hate me. So it's been fun. But this calls for a basting stitch, so I must do it. <sighs> basting stitches, am I right? This is the calm before the storm, because basting stitches never go to plan. I mean, it's not perfect. There's definitely a few issues, but that's kind of the point of this dress, is to be a little slouchy. That's why I chose it, because it's forgiving. What happened over here? I think I caught the bottom. Oh yeah, I definitely did. Ugh. I have to seam rip this corner bit. This is just not right. Oh. Oh, I must seam rip that. Oh yeah, what the heck did I do? Oh my gosh, I need like eight more hands. Ugh. It's getting to be a lot of strings in here and it doesn't help that it's orange and white so I can see them perfectly. Pull out the basting stitch, which is a little satisfying, so I'll get you up close and personal. There we go, it's coming, I think. What is happening? <laughs> oh, there, wasn't that satisfying? No, okay. It's the difference between like having a bunch of this versus not, so it is actually quite fun. We're having a good time. Okay, I have eaten and I am happier now. So I'm just gonna finish off the raw edges. Also, I should probably try this on and see the height. Right now it sort of looks like a graduation <laughs> gown. So I'm hoping we can get that to be a little better. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's so tight and it sounds like it's breaking. Graduation gown realness. It's actually not bad. Okay, this is where we're at. How short did they go in the video? They went just above the knee. Maybe I'll do the same. I think that's cute. Go here? Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna cut the bottom to size and then I'm going to hem it around the neckline and the arms. Actually, the arms are already hemmed from the last dress. <laughs> Perfect. And I'll be right back. Two seconds later. I ended up finding some orange thread. Now this is too bright of orange, but it'll be better than white because I was hemming the bottom and the white sticks out way too much. I don't know where this bright orange thread came from, but we're gonna use it. So I'm gonna put them around the sleeves so that the sleeves are like cute and scrunchy. I don't like it when it's too tight though. So maybe just like that. Sure. This is stressful. Like what am I doing? Let's just see. <laughs> that was emotional, but I think we got it. Oh yeah. <gasps> Cute. Okay. The way I didn't blink that entire time. My eyes are so dry. Oh my gosh. Cute. It's very cute. Very slouchy. Very much have to do it again on the other side, which I'm sad. Sad about it. Now I'm gonna take this fabric and basically cut this in a straight line. This fabric's kind of confusing because I can't tell what side's the good side and what side's the bad side sometimes. So I just find myself a little bit confused here. Sewing just has a way of humbling you because I think I was getting a little bit too <laughs> confident and I was starting not to pin anything I was just starting to sew because I was getting impatient and sewing just said no 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 you have to pin so here I am pinning why is it bunching that's a bunch of BS <laughs> Okay, I just put the finishing touches 
on the dress, the pockets are on. They seem weirdly far apart, but I was following the tutorial. You can fit about a loony or toony in those. Attached the straps, finish the edges. I'm just gonna iron it. And then tomorrow I'm gonna try to get into makeup and hair that matches the vibe of this. I feel like it is a really cute, almost like picnic dress. We definitely revamped it from a glam dress that like you wouldn't wear to many occasions probably, unless you were super extra. In that case, I respect you. Well, I, I respect you no matter what, but if you wore that dress, I would respect it. I would admire it. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow for me, a millisecond for you to show the final look on. All right, I have it on. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here's this cute little dress with these useless little pockets. I don't know what I would put in these. Maybe a chapstick and a quarter. Also with a bit of the extra fabric, I was able to make this little hair bow, which I feel like really completes the ensemble. I'm loving the orange. There was a love-hate relationship with this orange throughout this entire project. I was like, is it cute? Is it not? Is it cute? Is it not? Am I a pumpkin? I don't know. But now, I think it's really cute. It's like a mix of a summer and fall dress. I could see Wearing this with like some tights and knee high socks and boots and a little jacket would be really cute in the fall or just by itself at a picnic in the summer. And I feel like this dress in comparison to what it was before, I think it's a lot more wearable. Like you may not agree that it's better, but it's at least more wearable. I can't think of many occasions where I would have wore this one, but this one, I can think of many. Oh my gosh, you know what I'm just realizing? I wore the wrong underwear today. I'm wearing black underwear. It would probably be a good idea to wear like your nude color underwear with this because it's not the most opaque. That being said though, I had lots of extra fabric. I could have done a second layer, but I think it'd just be easier to wear the right underwear. But yeah, so here is the dress. Take it in people. What do you think? I'm happy with it. And I'm always impressed when you can make something by hand because I always think it's going to go bad and then it goes okay. All right, well, the first return prom dress has been officially revamped. <laughs> One of my fears of this whole like series of revamping prom dresses that I'd like to do is that you guys will hate everything I make and be like, stop touching the dresses. Just leave them alone. They're better the way they are. And by the time you tell me that, I've already done this to it. So please tell me if you like this. Tell me if I should continue it or tell me if I should stop. Just leave them alone. My judging system goes to, I most likely wouldn't have worn the dress before, but I definitely will wear it now. So I'm gonna say it's my own personal success. But okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I wanna say a big thank you to the YouTuber who made this dress tutorial that I followed. It was a huge help and I will link it down below if you guys would like to make this silhouette. It's just their tutorial. Like I didn't really teach it, they taught it to me. You can learn it too. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and also tell me which dress we should revamp next. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye!